Auburn, the uh, health care legislation that passed the U.S. House earlier this week. Do you support it? You know, what I think we need to be doing in the health care debate is pretty fundamental, and I talk about this all the time, and that is we need to provide more affordability, more access, and more stability to, to all Americans. Uh, so the key to me are those things. I'm a little concerned on the House bill about uh, the affordability side, and we need to make sure that the costs are under control. I know, though, that it's an important first step to get that passed out of the House. There's going to be a substantially different view of it, I think, probably in the Senate, and so we'll see how it comes out. But I'm excited that we're having this debate, that we've gotten to the point where we know that the status quo when it comes to health care is not good enough. It's not serving our people. It's not good enough for our small businesses, and it's not, it's not serving our government. So all in all, we know the status quo doesn't work. We're moving toward changing that and making it better, and I'm supporting it. I hear a little concern and I hear a little support, but overall, do you support that bill that passed? Well, I think that's not going to be what we ultimately pass, and I think that we can make it better, and I hope that that's what they'll do uh, in the next round. What about the Stupac Amendment? What's your opinion on that? You know, I don't think we ought to turn what we know is a vital need, which is to reform health care in our country, into a debate over abortion. I think we need to keep it uh, so that it's, it's not rising that debate, that it's not uh, changing things one way or another. Um, and, and, uh, it's a distraction from what we really need to be doing, which is reforming health care for our citizens. You know, people ask me all the time, what, what are people in Missouri saying about health care? I'll tell you, the people that talk to me tell me about stories of trying to get access because they have a pre-existing condition, or stories about being a small business and having their rates go up 40% in one year, or stories about somebody who has a pre-existing condition and, and you know, has to pay $38,000 because they have diabetes and they're not qualified for Medicare. Those are the stories I hear about health care all the time, and we know we have to do something about it. Is that to say you oppose that amendment? I think we ought not be making this into an abortion debate, and I hope that they get that resolved uh, when it comes up, up again. We have to go question. Do you think that will still be an issue for whoever is elected the next U.S. Senator from this state? You know, I think health care is going to be one of those topics we talk about for a long time in our country. Uh, hopefully, we'll, this, is a, this is a conversation about getting it started, getting the reform going that we need to have. This is going to solve it, and that somehow one bill is going to is going to be a magic wand and solve health care for the rest of time. I think this is a progression, and I'm glad we're getting started. So that, come on out there. We have the presentation of the photo contest yeah, board schedule, and we've got, we've got those folks waiters. So, so we need to get upstairs. You can come with us if you want. Uh,